Okay. ಿಂದ್ರವಂದಿಕಶೋಕಹಾರಿಣಿ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ವಕ್ತ್ರ ಪಂಕಜೈನಿ ಕುಂಜ ಭೂವಿಳಾಸಿ ವ್ರಜೇಂದ್ರ ವ್ರಜೇಂದ್ರ ಸುಸಂಗತೆ ಕರಿಷ್ಯಸಿಹ ಮಾಂ ಕೃಪಾಕಾಕ್ಷಭಾಜನ ಅಶೋಕ ವೃಕ್ಷಪಲ್ಲರಿ ವಿತಾನ ಮಂದಪಸ್ಥಿ ಪ್ರಲ ಪಲ್ಲವ ಪ್ರಭಾರುನಾಗ್ರಿ ಕೋಮಲಿ ವರಾಭಯ ಸುರ ಕರಿ ಪ್ರಭೂತ ಸಂ ಕರಿಷ್ಯಸಿಹ ಮಾಂ ಕೃಪಾಕಾಕ್ಷಭಾಜನ ಅನಂಗರಂಗ ಮಂಗಲ ಪ್ರಸಂಗ ಭಂಗುರ ಭ್ರುವ ಸ ವಿಭ್ರಮ ಸ ಸಂಭ್ರಮ ದೃಗಂತ ಬಾನ ಪಾತನೈ ನಿರಂತರ ಕರಿಷ್ಯಸಿಹ ಮಾಂ ಕೃಪಾಕಾಕ್ಷಭಾಜನ ತರಿತ್ಸುವರ್ಣ ಚಂಪಕ ಪ್ರದೀಪ್ತ ಗೌರ ವಿಗ್ರಹೆ ಮುಖ ಪ್ರಭಾ ಪರಾಸ್ತ ಕೋಟಿ ಶಾರದೆಂದು ಮಂದಳೆ ವಿಚಿತ್ರ ಚಿತ್ರ ಸಂಚಲ ಚೋರ ಶಾವಲೋಚನೆ ಕದಾ ಕರಿಷ್ಯಸಿಹ ಮಾಂ ಕೃಪಾಕಾಕ್ಷಭಾಜನ ಮದೋನ್ಮದಾತಿ ಯೋವನೆ ಪ್ರಮೋದ್ರ ಮಾನನಂದಿ ಪ್ರಿಯಾನುರಾಗರಂಚಿತೆ ಕಲಾ ವಿಲಾಸ ಪಂಡಿತೆ ಅನನ್ಯಧನ್ಯ ಕುಂಜ ರಾಜ ಕಾಮಕೆ ಕೋವಿದೆ ಕದಾ ಕರಿಷ್ಯಸಿಹ ಮಾಂ ಕೃಪಾಕಾಕ್ಷಭಾಜನ ಅಶೇಷ ಹಾವ ಭಾವ ಧೀರ ಧೀರ ಹಾರ ಭೂಷಿತೆ ಪ್ರಭೂತ ಶಾತ ಕುಂಭ ಕುಂಭ ಕುಂಭಿ ಕುಂಭ ಸೂಸ್ತನಿ ಪ್ರಶಸ್ತ ಮಂದಸ್ಯ ಚೂರ್ಣ ಪೂರ್ಣ ಸೌಖ್ಯ ಸಾಗರೆ ಸದಾ ಕರಿಷ್ಯಸಿಹ ಮಾಂ ಕೃಪಾಕಾಕ್ಷಭಾಜನ ಮೃನಾಲ ಬಾಲವಲ್ಲರಿ ತರಂಗ ರಂಗ ದೋರ್ಲತೆ ಲತಾಗ್ರಲಾಸ್ಯ ಲೋಲ ನೀಲ ಲೋಚನಾವಲೋಕನೆ ಲಲ್ಲುಲ್ಲಶ್ರೀತೆ ಕದಾ ಕರಿಷ್ಯಸಿಹ ಮಾಂ ಕೃಪಾಕಾಕ್ಷಭಾಜನ ಸುವರ್ಣ ಮಾಲಿ ಕಾಂಚಿತ ತ್ರಿರೇಕ ಕಂಬುಭಾಮಗೆ ತ್ರಿಸೂತ್ರ ಮಂಗಲಿ ಗುಣ ತ್ರಿರತ್ನ ದೀಪ್ತಿ ದೀಧಿತಿ ಸಲೋಲ ಸೂದ ಗುಚ್ಚ ಗುಹಿತೆ ಕದಾ ಕರಿಷ್ಯಸಿಹ ಮಾಂ ಕೃಪಾಕಾಕ್ಷಭಾಜನ ನೀತಂಬಿಂಬ 
ಫಲಂಬಮಾನ ಪುಷ್ಪಮೇಖಲಾಗುಣೆ ಪ್ರಶಸ್ತರತ್ನ ಕಿಂಕಿಣಿ ಕಲಾಪ ಮಧ್ಯ ಮಂಜುಲಿ ಕರೀಂದ್ರ ಸುಂದರ ಕರಿಷ್ಯಮ ಕೃಪಾಕಕ್ಷ ಭಾಜನ ಅನೇಕ ಮಂತ್ರನಾದ ಮಂಜುನು ಪುರಾರವಲ ಸಮಾಜ ರಾಜಹಂಸ ನಿಕ್ವಾನಾತಿ ಗೌರವೆ ವಿಲೋಚಾರು ಚಂಕ್ರಮೆ ಸದಾ ಕರಿಷ್ಯಸಿಹ ಮಾಕೃಪಾಕಕ್ಷ ಭಾಜನ ಅನಂತ ಕೋತಿ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಲೋಕ ನಮ್ರ ಪದ್ಮಲಾಧಕೆ ಹಿಮಾದ್ರಿಜ ಪುಲೋಮ ಜಿರಿಂಚಿ ಚ ವರ ಪ್ರದೆ ಅಪಾರ ಸಿದ್ಧಿಷ್ಟ ಸತ್ಪದಾಂಗುಲೇ ಕದಾ ಕರಿಷ್ಯಸಿಹ ಮಾ ಕೃಪಾಕಕ್ಷ ಭಾಜನ ಮಖೇಶ್ವರೀ ಪ್ರಿಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ಸಧೇಶ್ವರಿ ಸುರೇಶ್ವರಿ ತ್ರಿವೇದ ಭಾರತೇಶ್ವರಿ ಪ್ರಮಾನ ಶಾಸನೇಶ್ವರಿ ರಮೇಶ್ವರಿ ಕ್ಷಮೇಶ್ವರಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದ ಕಾಳೇಶ್ವರಿ ವ್ರಜೇಶ್ವರಿ ವ್ರಜಾಧಿಪೆ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಿಕೇ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ಮಾಭೂತ ಸ್ತವ ನಿಶಮ್ಯ ಭಾನುನಂದಿ ಕರೋತು ಸಂತತ ಜನ ಕೃಪಾಕಕ್ಷ ಭಾಜನ ಭವೇತ ಶಂಚಿತ ತ್ರಿಪಕರ್ಮನಾಶನ ಭವೇತ ವ್ರಜೇಂದ್ರ ಸೋನು ಮಂದಲ ಪ್ರವೇಶನ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಾ ಕೃಪಾ ಕಥಾಕ್ಷ ಕಿ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಜೈ ಸೀತಾರಾಮ್ಲೇಷನ್ Oh you who are adorned by the leaders of the multitude of sages oh you who takes away the miseries of the swift world oh you whose face joyfully blooms like a lotus flower oh you who delights in playing love sports throughout the secret forest bower houses O oh, most charming daughter of Vishabhanu, beloved of the king of Raj, Sri Krishna. O oh, you who are always associated with the king of Raj, Sri Krishna. When, O oh, when will you make me the object of your sidelong glance of causeless mercy? Number two, O oh, you who who dwell in a pavilion with a canopy of creepers spread over the branches of Ashoka tree. O you whose soft, del- delicate feet radiate the pink coral color of freshly sprouted tree buds. O you whose appraised hand bestows a benediction of fearlessness oh you who are the source of divine opulence when 
Oh, when will you make me the object of your sight long glance of godless mercy? Number three, oh, you with a bow of Cupid, your delightful, auspicious, crooked, bending eyebrows, you shoot your arrow messages of love from the corner of your eyes, which cause the charming son of Nanda to be struck with amorous delusions of noble submission to you for all eternity. Oh, when will you make me the object of your sidelong glance of causeless mercy? Number four. Oh, you whose golden form is brilliantly effulgent like lightning and champaka flowers. Oh, you whose effulgent face eclipses eclipse the beauty of millions of full autumn's moons. Oh, you whose restless eyes are like chakura partridges moving to and fro. Oh, when will you make me the object of your sidelong glance of causeless mercy? Number five, O oh, you who are the extremely joyful, love, happy use. O oh, you who are decorated with the great happiness of love, intoxicated jealousy, pouting, and anger. O oh, you who has extreme, pure, loving affection with your beloved Sri Krishna. O oh, you, the most expert in all the various acts of amorous love. Oh, you, the most learned in arranging amorous pastimes of pure love in super opulent secret power, houses in the best of forests. When, oh, when will you make me the object of your side long glance of causeless mercy? O oh, you who are decorated with a diamond necklace of a limitless variety of feminine charms like artistic amorous gestures, ecstatic loving moods, and gentle mannerism, O oh, you whose incomparable ecstatic love makes you perfect breasts very plump like golden water jugs, or like the temple mounds of the young elephant. Oh, you whose enchanting mild, sweet smile is like a line of flower falling on the ocean of joy. When, oh, when will you make me the object of your sidelong glance of causeless mercy? Number seven. O oh, you whose arms are like fresh creepers of lotus stem playfully swaying in waves of the rival of your useful pastimes. O oh, you whose seduci sedative, very dark blue eyes are like the tip of a creeper blown by the gentle breeze. O oh, you whose playful sports and alluring movement of ancient Mohan Krishna, that he appears hypnotized by you into wonderful meetings. Oh, when will you make me the object of your sideline glance of causeless mercy? O oh, you smooth couch shell like neck. Marked with three lines is decorated with a pure gold necklace. O oh, you whose three strand necklace of wood woven jasmine garlands decorated with diamonds, emeralds, and pearl radiates splendid effulgence. O oh, you whose every dark blue Need a blade of hair uh, inter 
workmen, the bunches of flowers. When, oh, when will you make me the object of your side, long glance of causeless mercy? Number nine, oh, you whose round hips are decorated with a belt of dangling flowers. Oh, you where, whose charmingly thin waist is decorated by a belt of tiny tinkling jeweled bells. Oh, you whose beautifully shaped legs taper gracefully from the from your sigh like a like a trunk of the king of elephants. When, oh, when will you make me the object of your side long glance of causeless mercy? Number 10, oh, you whose captivating ankle bells make the sounds of various kinds of divine mantras resembling a group of royal swans singing. Oh, you whose extreme super excellent movement put to shame by shame the swaying of the golden creeper. Oh, when will you make me the object of your sidelong glance? Of course, less mercy. By 11. Oh, you who is humbly worshipped by all the lords, Brahmas in unlimited billions of universes created by Lord Vishnu. O oh, you who is a bestower of benediction to the daughter of the Himalaya, Hima, Himalaya, Parvati, Shiva's wife, the daughter of Puloma, Sachi, Indra, Indra's wife. And the Brahma's wife, Saraswati, oh, you whose toenails glow with the radiance of boundless mystic perfections and opulences. When, oh, when we, when will you make me the object of your side long glance of causeless mercy? But well, oh, goddess, leader of the Vedic sacrifices. O goddess leader of pious activities, O goddess leader of spontaneous devotional service, O goddess leader of all the demigods and goddesses, O goddess leader of all knowledge in the Sri Vedas, O goddess leader of enforcing scriptural scriptures, O goddess leader of the goddesses of fortune, O goddess leader of forgiveness, O goddess leader of the pleasure forest of Vrindavan, O goddess leader of Raj, O one and only authority who regulates and trends into Vraj, O Sri Radhika, I offer my most respectful obeisances unto you. Number 13, May Sri Vishabhanu Nandini. Upon hearing my astonishing prayer, recited, blessed to her, most merciful sidelong glance upon the speaker. At the time, one will feel all the effects of past, present, and future karma completely destroyed and gain entrance into the assembly of Nanda Nandanas, Krishna's eternal loving devotees. That aspiring devotee who want who charge this prayer on the full moon, the waxing eight lunar, the tenth lunar, the eleventh lunar, the ekadashi, and thirteenth lunar, they will find that his mind and intelligence most merciful sidelong glance of Sri Radha. One will obtain. Pure ecstatic love, praying. The aspiring devotee who recites this prayer 100 times while in the waters of Sri Radha Kund, up to the thigh, navel, chest, or neck, attain complete perfection in the religiosity, economic, 
development, fulfillment of desires and liberation. The power by which everything spoken will come true and great opulence from attaining transcendental majesty. At the time one gets the, to meet with Sri Radha, at the time one gets to meet Sri Radha face to face, seeing her even with one's own present eyes and Sri Radhika becomes so pleased that she instantly bestows the greatest benediction of being able to see her own beloved Syam Sundar Krishna with one's present eyes. Then Lord Krishna, the Lord of Rajdham, grants one entrance into his eternal ecstatic pastime, with, which is the only goal for which true Vaishnava hanker. Hare Krishna Prabhu, Hare Krishna to everyone. Hare Krishna, thank you so much. Oh, amazing. Oh, okay. uh, such a nice, beautiful prayer, which was first spoken by Lord Shiva. And uh, such a glorious glorification of Radharani. And uh, it's, it's truly astonishing, as Ved Vyas himself says, this astonishing prayer is uh, worthy to recite. Uh, Karuna, anything you'd like to add? Uh, yes, Prabhu, and today is a Kadushi day, so yes. we are calling <laughs> it on a social species day also. Yeah, very true. Very good. Good point. Munindra Vrindavandite, and this is Sri Radha Kripaka Tastaka Katasha. Oh, sorry, go on, you do it. So official name is Sri Radha Kripaka Taksha Stavaraja Abhyasdev from his Uzava Pamaniya Tantra. Okay. Radha Maniki. Jai. Great. Thank you.